Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have six 120 volt, 240 volt full house generators. This is the lineup you need if you're trying to power your entire home. I'm talking about central AC, water pumps, 240 volt appliances, and anything in the house that you want to power. Remember, these generators, not only can they power your entire house, they can be paired together in parallel to double the power. And that's another option that you have when it comes to these large generators. These are inverted generators, pure sine wave. Some of them are dual fuel, meaning that they can run on propane or gas. You can actually convert some of these to run on tri-fuel, propane, gas, and natural gas. You can actually do tri-fuel, propane, gas, and natural gas. But we're gonna talk to, about these in their stock. Okay guys, I'm gonna go through this lineup and show you. We're gonna show you some of the options that are different and some of the options that you might like over another one. Okay, let's start down here. You may have seen this one, the Power Horse 7500. This generator right here, it kind of cross over between the 6,000. I had to put it up here because it's, it has that 7,500 watt and 6,500 watt running. So it deserves to be in this lineup. Plus this one has that 50 amp plug. So if you do combine this together so you can get that 240 volt and parallel it together, right here you can use the 50 amp when you see generators with that 50 amp plug means that you don't need to buy a parallel kit it's usually just a cable and you can use this cord right here to power your house double the power okay we've already showed this one if you guys haven't seen this video check it out next you have the ai power this is a dual fuel generator so you can run on gas and propane Okay, does have 240 volt also. This one right here on pump gas, you get 8,000 watts starting and 7,000 watt running. Propane, 7,000 watts starting, 6,300 running. This is the AI power. Next, we have the Gen Max. And guys, the reason you see two Gen Max in this lineup, this one right here is gas. 9,000 watts starting, 7,600 watts running. Okay, so this is Gen Max gas version. So this would be comparing to the Predator 9500. This one's also all gas. You get 500 more starting watts, but they have the exact same running watts. And I've tested both of these and the Predator, and you do get 7,600 running. Okay, so 500 more starting, but this one right here gets its job done. And you also have that awesome gauge. So when you turn on your power, you get all the, the readings you need. The Predator just does not have that. Okay, it has an awesome gauge. One thing the Gen Max also have is that 50 amp breaker, that 50 amp plug. So you do get the 50 amp plug parallel together you can get full 50 amp from your generator without a parallel kit next in line we have the duramax 9000 this one has the exact same running watts 9000 starting 7600 running on pump gas 8550 starting on propane and 7200 running on propane you do also get that awesome digital gauge up front. Okay, this one does not have the 50 amp plug. Okay, so you, you need a par uh, parallel kit. But I heard something recently that when you parallel two of these together, because it does not have a neutral one, two, that it only has two. Most generators have three. So you get that neutral cable right here. So you can use 240 volt and 120 volt when you parallel two together. But these right here, we're gonna have to test this. It says that you can only get 240 volt when you parallel them together. That's something we have to test. We're gonna be doing that in the next uh, video. We're gonna be testing that out. Next, you have the 
Gen Max, 9,000. This is the GM 9000 IED. This one's dual fuel. This is a dual fuel inverted generator from Gen Max. 9,000 starting on pump gas, 7,600 running on pump gas. On propane, you get 8,550 and 7,200 running on propane. Like I told you, you get that awesome gauge, that 50 amp plug, very important. And your three wire parallel, meaning that you have the neutral. So we're gonna test that out. We will be testing that out, okay? Last, you have the 9500. This is the Predator 9500. This one also, the only gauge you have is your hour meter. And it does have the three to parallel, so you do get that uh, 120, 240 when you parallel your generator. You get your 30 amp plug and your four pin. It does not have the 50 amp, so when you parallel, you need a parallel box. Still have not seen one for this generator. I don't know when um, Predator plans on releasing the parallel kit, but I haven't seen it yet. Okay, guys, so this is the lineup for 240 volt. 120 volt full home backup inverter generators. Okay, guys, I just wanted to put them all together. I've done a video on every one of these. I haven't put them together. Everyone asked me, which one would you pick? If I had to pick one right now, which one would I pick? Well, guess what? I'm making the videos. I'm showing you guys everything you need to know and you get to make that choice. Okay, anything you need to know, let me know. I'll show it to you. I'll test them out for you. But that's it. <laughs> One other thing I like to point out about these generators is that the handle, the placement of the handle. I love the handle up front. It just makes it easier. Like right now, I'm backing the generators up and the handles up front. I can just pull the handle up and back it up. Easy. AI power. And the Duramax decided to put the handle on the back side. So that makes it kind of odd to move them. Okay. You see? The handle's in the back. All the other ones, the handle's in the front. Doesn't it's not a big deal breaker. Another thing that you can see right away is the exhaust. Most of these the exhaust is on the side. The predator. The Gen Max the exhaust is where it needs to be in the back. Duramax exhaust is inside. So if I fire this up right now and they were in parallel mode, this exhaust would probably put a big hole right here because they're not venting in the back. This one's in the back and that one's also in the, in the side. This one's in the back. One thing I tell you guys about the um, power horse, that is one quiet generator. I'm telling you right now, this thing is silent. It's a lot quieter than any one of these. And if anybody's going to tell you, it's going to be me. I know this thing is, it runs just like the Honda, real quiet. You're probably wondering why don't I have the Honda in this lineup? Because the Honda only has 5,000 watts running. This one at least has 6,500 running, 75 starting. So I feel like the Honda falls more with the in the other group. This one kind of can go both ways in the 9,000 and the 7,000. So that's why it's in here. Okay, guys, quick video. I just want to show you this lineup. And the reason I do this lineup, guys, is to kind of give you guys an idea of what you're looking for when you're shopping. So Power Horse. AI power, Gen Max, gas only, dual fuel, Duramax, dual fuel, Gen Max, Predator, gas. Okay? So, kind of give you guys an idea of what's out there. And these are the top six. If you're looking for a full house, full house, you want to run your AC, your refrigerator, the washer, dryer, uh, well pump. What else? Uh, the, the whole house heater, 
central AC. Anything you want to run in the house, you can do it with one of these. And if you want more power, get two of them, parallel them together, and knock yourself out. Okay? All right, guys. Just a quick video. Just a quick lineup. Let you guys see what's coming, what's out there. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye.